Hi everyone, welcome to part one of how to paint poppies. There will be a full list of colors in the description. I wanted to include um, the reference photo, photo that I used that was from my own garden so you could see um, you know, how I use those photos to kind of position and place my flowers. Um, what I'm using right now is a burnt sienna. That is my shade color. Um, and I use that to kind of have be the shadow in between all the petals. So anytime I'm using like a, I want the middle of the flower to appear recessed, I'm using the burnt sienna in the middle. And I'll mix that with some of the vermilion also, moving out from that center of each flower uh, to make the shadow color. And all of the little pleats in the um, poppy petals. Um, I have these, I don't know what variety they are, they grow in my yard and they are gorgeous. They're super bright, bright orange um, and tinged with red. And so on these petals, they're sort of a pie shape, if you can see that where I've started. Um, each of the petals, they're really soft and fluttery in real life. Um, and they have a lot of creases in them and really papery thin. Um, so what I've used with the majority of the color on these petals is a vermilion, which is a really beautiful, rich orange shade. Um, and the shadow color that I use, I would mix in, um, like I said before, the burnt sienna mixed with the vermilion. And as I wanted to appear, have the petals to appear lighter and brighter, um, and more to where they were in the sun, uh, I used a cadmium yellow and I would mix that in with the vermilion to give, you know, sort of the poppy petals are really beautiful, pleated, super, super feathery light. Um, and those are the three basic colors that I used um, for the petals. And you'll see I used that uh, the mix with the burnt sienna, um, or, you know, sort of under each petal, around the edges that were in shadow, um, the little creases, and again around the middle of that poppy. This particular part of this poppy had uh, quite a bit of little petals, so I used the burnt sienna to go around, you know, to show the um, edges of the petal, um, and then so it made, you know, gave a shadow and made the appearance that the, the petals will had dimension and were laying one on top of the other. And then again, these upper petals were a lot brighter, so they were part that the sun was hitting a little bit more, um, and if you go back to that reference photo, you can see that. So those upper areas of the petals got a lot more of the yellow mixed with the vermilion. And um, sometimes I even use just the pure yellow on the very tips. So I'm going back around and deepening uh, around where the middle part of the poppy is, where the seed head is. And I used a little bit of the um, a black actually, because I wanted to have that center appear really, really deep and recessed. Uh, in the middle of the, um, the seed head, when they're in bloom, they're sort of a purpley shade, and they're a, a pie shape. So what I did was I just based that color, and it was pretty wet, so I wanted to let that dry down a little bit. And then starting on number two, uh, Poppy is just kind of a repeat of number one. So again, using that burnt sienna um, as a shade around the center of the Poppy, and then the separations in the petals themselves, I use that burnt sienna. And now I'm adding that vermilion uh, mixed in with the burnt sienna. That is what takes you out of the center, out towards the edge. And then here you can see that's pretty much just the straight vermilion out along the edges of the petals. And that'll give you a nice, um, uh, it'll sort of help to fool your eye and give that flat painting that you're doing some dimension um, when you use the darker towards the middle and use the lighter colors out towards the edges. Uh, 
what I'm painting on now is a 12 by 12 gesso board and I absolutely love to paint on these gesso boards. It's a super, super uh, slick, um, really, um, it's not really a glossy surface, but it's really, really soft. There's no texture at all. It's not like painting on canvas or paper. Really, really slick surface, but I love it for the acrylics. Um, and when I'm finished with my paintings, I glaze over them and they have a really nice sheen. So it almost looks like they're under glass. Um, and I love that surface because I love detail. I love the gesso boards because I love detail. And they, that gesso board allows me to have really, really fine detail without, um, you know, canvas shows the texture um, when you paint on it. And these gesso boards do not have that. They're super thin. I love them. You should try painting on them. They're wonderful. So you can see these tips of some of these petals. Like I said, I used... Um, the straight um, cadmium yellow for really, really bright, intense, um, uh, sunlit look. I did even use a little bit of titanium white um, to really get uh, these petals lighter. And I'll probably, once the leaves and the, the, um, the buds are all in, I'll go back in and add a little bit more of a mix of um, the white with some yellow and some of that orange to really make those petals pop even more. And again, like I do in the rest of my videos, um, I explain you, that you have to build up your colors with acrylics in layers. So you'll see me do several passes over the same area of a painting, and that's because I'm laying in layers of color. So each layer has to dry down somewhat um, before you can go over it again. Um, and again, so that center, I added some black along with the, um, the burnt sienna to give a really, really rich uh, dark interior um, and now I have a little bud that's um, well a flower that's mostly open and its head was hanging down and again I use that reference photo to get that shape so it doesn't you won't see the center in this um, flower that I'm working on now um, it's just the leaves are hanging down and I use that sienna burnt sienna also as a shadow and I've got my design drawn on already, and I will um, add a drawing to my Pinterest page, and that um, will be a drawing that if you'd like to use it, you can. If you want to just look at it for reference, whatever you want to do. So it will be there on my Pinterest page, Molly Pope Art, and it will be under the folder of tutorials. All of my tutorials that I have on um, YouTube, all of the drawings are on there for you all to look at and to print off and use in your own painting. So again, I'm just working this um, downward facing flower, um, a yellow mix mixed with a vermilion to give a sunlit look. Um, and what I'm doing now is going back in around that um, middle of the poppy, the first poppy that was painted and sort of breaking up that black. So it's will give the, um, oh, the little um, middle part of the poppy a little bit more texture, a little bit more interest.
So I'm adding a lot more yellow to those areas that I wanted them to appear like the sunlight was hitting them. Again, using that reference photo. So if you want to take a look back at that um, or print that out, feel free to do that. I'm really just defining where the petals stop, where they start, the edges, all of that. Refine and define is what I say. You're just refining and defining all of the bits and pieces and parts, petals of the poppies using your highlights and your shadows to refine and define. Now for the last part, I thought I had the um, middle of the, the flower um, on video, but I did not. So I did a separate little video of just the middle part of the flower that shows the seed pod um, and up close so you could see it was all based in um, the burnt sienna and I made a pink out of that. Um, this is around the edge and show you, I wanted to show you up close how I did the stamen and the filaments and the seed pod um, because like I said, I didn't get that on video. I will go back and do a video of the seed of, of the pods themselves too in the green. So the next video should cover uh, the seed pods of a poppy, um, or excuse me, the poppy pods, the buds, and all of the leaves and stems. So I hope you enjoy this. Um, please like and subscribe for more content. And thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. See you soon.